Today we'll be looking at characteristic function of an exponential distribution. <clears throat> but first of all, we consider the characteristic function of a continuous distribution, which is given as phi subscript x of t equals to integral exponential arita t x f of x the x. This f of x the x is a particular uh, distribution. Now we have to consider the exponential distribution, the characteristic function of this exponential distribution. The probability density function of an exponential distribution is given as exponential exponential distribution. The probability mass function is given as f of x f of x equals to integral is zero to positive infinity lambda exponential raised to the power minus lambda x the x exponential distribution only has one parameter and the parameter is this lambda and this lambda is non negative value and that's why it runs from zero to positive infinity so now the characteristic function of this exponential distribution will now be phi subscript x of t equals to integral is zero to positive infinity exponential raised to the power iota t x multiplied by f of x and our f of x here is lambda exponential raised to the power minus lambda x so i'll just put it there lambda exponential raised to the power minus lambda x the x now we are integrating with respect to x and from this integration we have lambda here which has nothing to do with x which means lambda is a constant we take it out then we cannot have phi sub the x of t equals to integral is zero to positive infinity then our lambda will come out then we can have to this exponential exponential iota t x multiplied by exponential raised to power minus lambda x the x we can combine these two exponential together using the law of indices then we can have phi subscript x of t equals to lambda integral is zero to positive infinity exponential then from these two exponential we have x is common to the two we can just factorize x together with the negative we have raised power minus x into bracket this is the minus this is the x we've already taken it out here it will remain positive lambda and here it will remain minus iota t then we have the x now we are to integrate with respect to the x and this will be phi squared with x of t equals to lambda if i integrate this i'm going to have a we are not doing integration so we'll talk about that one later so i have exponential this power minus x into lambda minus iota t divided by lambda minus iota t and since x is carrying kind of negative here then we are going to have minus here then zero runs to positive infinity that is the integration of this uh, function here then from here now we cannot have phi subscript x of t equals to lambda into bracket if i substitute infinity into this place all this place is going to be zero but let me write it we have minus exponential minus infinity that is whenever i see x i substitute it with infinity then into bracket lambda minus iota t over lambda minus iota t minus together with this minus will give me a positive i'm going to substitute a zero into this place now then i'm going to have a exponential this power minus zero into bracket lambda minus iota t divided by lambda minus iota t then bracket close yeah exponential raised to power infinity will give us
everything here is going to be zero because it is not possible it's not possible you have exponential raised to power infinity so all this particular all this uh, uh, value here is going to be zero so therefore we have phi subscript x of t equals to lambda into bracket is zero plus is zero multiplied by this will give us zero and exponential raised to power zero will give us uh, uh, zero, uh, any value raised to power zero will give us one so we have is zero plus one over lambda minus i to t bracket close so here we cannot have phi of x lambda into bracket 1 over lambda minus i to t so if i use this to multiply this then i'm going to have phi subscript x of t equals to lambda divided by lambda minus i to t and this is the characteristic function of an exponential distribution. Thank you for watching.